Hello friends, this is Adam Holland, the Explore My Business coach and also the changeyourlifeatwill.com uh, founder. Uh, I'm here just to give you a little bit of hope. Uh, this is the second video in a long series of videos that I'm doing for uh, changeyourlifeatwill.com which will be launching in the next couple of months and uh, really I wanted to, I do these videos just to give you a good sense of hope, to give you a sense that you can accomplish things, in, uh, great things in life and in order to get yourself from point A where you are to point B where you want to be, you're going to have to overcome fear. Fear is one of the biggest cripplers of success and uh, I'm actually been going back and forth between two of my favorite books. Um, one of them is The Magic of Thinking Big right here. If you haven't uh, picked this up, pick it up. It's awesome. And then um, here we got uh, Who You Are When No One Else Is Looking, which is awesome as well. Um, just tremendous books tremendous books and uh, they're, they're very helpful. So let me just, I'm just gonna read you a couple different things here uh, that really got my attention. Uh, most fear today is psychological. Worry, tension, embarrassment, panic all stem from mismanaged negative imagination. And one of the things that caught me there is uh, an acronym, F-E-A-R, fear, is false evidence appearing real. And um, it's not just that fear is in your imagination, it's not, it's not an imaginary thing. Uh, fear is something that is very real, but uh, most of the time it is stemmed from something in your brain that's, that's messing with you. So, um, fear stops people from capitalizing on opportunity. Fear wears down physical vitality. Fear actually makes people sick, causes organic difficulties, shortens life. Fear closes your mouth when you want to speak. That is just cutting right there. Now, all confidence is acquired and, de and it is developed. No one is born with confidence. Action cures fear. Indecision, postponement, on the other hand, fertilize fear. So the only way to conquer your fear is to take action. Uh, when you start to you know, get that fear inside of you building up, that you're not going to be able to do something, that is the exact moment when you need to go and do it that exact moment. You cannot wait. Every moment that you postpone it, you're giving yourself uh, in your subconscious more time to just churn those gears, keep those gears going, and convince yourself that you can't do it. You need to do it. You need to stop what you're doing and just go and attack that fear. This other book, uh, Who You Are When No One's Looking by uh, Bill Heidel's, very interesting book, and, he's, and he specifically says, you grow in courage, you grow in courage, when you face your crippling fears. You face your crippling fears. You cannot sit still and expect courage to come and find you. You have to go after it. You have to go after it. That is just, that is huge. I, I, I'm going to put that on my wall. That is just, uh, that is some inspiration right there. You cannot sit still and expect courage to come and find you. You need to go after it. That is just incredible right there. That's why I love reading these books. And if you're not reading books, you need to because you need to be reinforcing that positive in your life. Um, I remember reading a book about how uh, a gentleman that was, um, I believe it was a success speaker, he would talk about how positivity um, you know, is kind of like the hygiene of your, your brain. And you need to be able to constantly reinforce that. Just like you take a shower every day and you're applying you know, your deodorant, these success books and these different positive thinking books is like the deodorant for your mind. Because if you don't do it, your brain's, your brain's just and your attitude's just gonna start to stink. You need to develop a, a success mentality and a wealth mentality. Um, every time that I sit down and I wanna do one of these videos, you know what? Sometimes I'm like, you know what? I really don't feel like doing this. You know why? Because today is a Saturday at about four o'clock. I could be doing a lot of other things, but you know what? I need to think of exactly what this video is going to do. This video is going to inspire and empower millions of people. This video is going to be watched by a million people on YouTube one day and they're all going to um, just be excited, they're going to feel empowered, they're going to have the ability to conquer their fears and they're going to be able to go out and attain the things that they want in life. They're going to be able to reach those goals. So that motivates me to do these videos. Do I like sitting in front of a camera? It's very difficult sometimes. <laughs> Any of you guys that are public speakers out there, you start to get nervous when you're in front of a group of five or ten of your friends, much less a hundred or a hundred thousand people. So this is right here. This is a demonstration of just overcoming fear. And you know what? When I'm done with this video, when I hit the stop button on that camcorder, I'm going to be excited. I'm going to be clapping my hands. I'm going to be fist pumping because I'm excited because I conquered a fear. It's pretty simple. So guys, think of something right now 
that is stopping you. For me, especially it was my home-based business. I never thought I was going to be able to make a full-time income from home. Um, and I, I never thought I was going to be able to make uh, a six-figure income, let alone uh, from home, but even at a job. I never thought I was going to be able to do that. And that exact fear um, was what kept me down. And instead of churning that fear in my head over and over again, I said, you know what? I need to find out exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm going to learn marketing principles. I'm going to learn maybe sales techniques. I'm going to learn how to be more personal with people. But first and foremost, I learned how to develop a positive mental attitude. One of the things that I did to do that was read these books. One of the things that I did that is learn how to speak the words. One of those things that I learned how to do that um, was by uh, developing a, a consciousness of thought process, learning how to think about my thoughts, saying, instead of saying, oh, this stinks, this and that, no, I said, okay, that, that may have been a challenge, but you know what, I'm going to get over it, and just speaking that out loud, and speaking that to myself, and reinforcing that, it is incredible, so try that, and also I'll plug in to uh, my MySpace page, myspace.com slash explode my business, because if you want to explode your business, you're going to need, need to learn these, t these techniques first. So I hope this has helped you out today. Check out uh, changeyourlifeatwill.com, which is going to be launching in the next couple of months. Uh, I should put up probably a, uh, a reminder on there, like a, a, uh, an opt-in, so it'll give you a reminder when I launch the site. So I'll probably do that this afternoon. So check out the website, check out the MySpace page, and just keep learning, keep growing as a human being. It doesn't matter what your age, what your income, your race, your re religion. It doesn't matter. You can be successful, you can be positive, and you can start today right now. Go get it done. This is Adam Holland signing off. You take care.